In this video, we're going to focus on how we can highlight every single bar, as you can see, based on time. And in this case, now it will go per second. But of course, you can do it per hour or per minute as well. So let's start to explore how we can do that, because once we hover over it, you can see here it changes. But immediately afterward, it goes back to its original state. So let's start to look at this. So let's start to look how to highlight the specific bar based on our in chart.js or more specifically in our case based on the minute. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to get the default code. So we go to chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link here, which you can also find in the description box. Once you're here, scroll down and copy this entire chunk of code. And if you want to understand what this code does, I highly recommend you to watch this video here. So then what I will do is I just paste this all in there. And once I did that, I'll cut out this title and put it in here. Oh. There we are. Save, refresh, and now we have a bar chart. So in this case, what I need here is multiple values because I want to highlight it every minute or every second. I guess second would be more appropriate. It's easier to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in here 60 items or somewhere in that range so how many that exactly is i'm not sure i paste in probably five or six times more so let's see if that will be sufficient what i will do more is i will copy this and then paste 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 nope sorry i don't want to do that and then again here paste 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 all right so now i have this if i save this now refresh we have a huge amount of values here beautiful what I want to do is to highlight now, instead of highlighting by giving a color, I want to highlight it on hover. So that would mean that I'll put it here and I'll say hover border, or not the hover border color, but hover background color. And the background color will be equal to whatever we have here. So these will be nice solid colors that's easy to spot. Paste them all in there comma here, save that and refresh. So what happens now is if I hover, you will see here now the color of the bar becomes solid, or at least the background color. So now I have this, and what I want to do now is I want to make here basically a uh, interval for every second, and every time we have, have a second, it will convert into, or it will highlight an item here. So we need to do this with a code, so let's start to work on that. So the first thing what I want to do here is to create a item called here set interval which is basically the countdown and this is a function more specifically a nameless function and then within here we're going to work so what we need here is first of all we need to make sure that we get today's date and from there on we grab the specific time that it is right now so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say a constant and then say today equals new and then we say a date so we have the date of today, but then what I want to do, I want to break down the date because this date consists not only of a date, but also the time. So what I want to do now is make a constant and just say a seconds. And I want to extract from this date, which is today. So we say do today dot, and then we say yeah, get seconds. So once we do this, we should have now the specific seconds here. If I do a console log, we have here, the seconds. But if I save this, of course, this will not work immediately. And the reason why is we don't have, oh, oh, apparently it does work. But what I want to do here is to do it every single second. Because right now, apparently based on the frames or something like that, it, it just keeps on going. Or I guess the milliseconds, you can see here every time, approximately 250 times being repeated anyway. Doesn't matter, I want to reduce that because it's too much and it will be too heavy for our website. So what I want to do here eventually is to say here, comma, the interval of every 1000 milliseconds, which would be equal to one second. So 1000 milliseconds is equal to one second. So we'll refresh here now. And uh, let's see, did I save this properly? Let's, let's save that. Let me just check. All right, open up, up, open that up. There we are. You can see it due to the loading of it was too heavy. Uh, the console log was struggling to refresh properly. But now we get every specific second, so we can now highlight the bar based on that. So that's what I want to do now. So let's start to look at this. 
So what I'm going to do here now is, well, we can do here, we have the controller of the time. But what I want to do here is I want to set, use a specific command from char.js, which is set active element. So we're going to say my chart dot. I'm going to say a set active element or elements, parentheses, brackets. And then what I want to do in here, semicolon, but here, curly braces. And then within here, we're going to work with the value what we want to put in here. And basically what we need here is, remember here, we have here this data set. So what I want to do is here in the data set, I need to know which data set value, which is now in this case, index zero. So it's data set zero. And then here, the data value, which would be the value itself. So what I'm going to say here, data set index, which will be zero, because we only have one data set. And then next, here the index, and this index here will be based on our seconds in this case. So I'm going to just copy this, put it in here. Once I did this, save that, then refresh it. Let's see what happens. And all right, so you can see here right now, nothing really happened. So that would mean that we need to do one more thing here. Let's see here. Uh, let's see if I do this one, probably I need to update the chart. So I say my chart dot update. Save this and then refresh. And let's see now if this works accordingly. All right. So now we have this, and every time we update, you can see here very carefully, it moves. There we are. But if you hover over something, of course, this will overrule basically the item, at least for a few seconds. But basically with this, you can play around. And of course, you could do it also with a specific value within the background here. But then what you will have to do is you need to update everything as well. Uh, and not, not specifically update, but also the color code, because if you update that or change this color here, it will impact on the array. So you need to have this original array somewhere safe, then to update that, so you avoid any issues. But this is basically how you can do it. Let me double check. Where is it now? There we are. All right, so we did it with seconds, but maybe you might say, well, second is easy. That is true. What about if we have minutes or hours? That was the case. So if I will do this here, I'll just copy this, enter, and then we're going to say minutes, and here we get get minutes, and if you want for the hours, same situation here, put in here hours, and we get here hours as well. So if I save that, we can say here minutes, there we are, let's get the hours and save that. So if I save that and refresh, we have now the values being shown three at a time. So these are the seconds and then you have here the minutes and then here 22, which is 10 p.m. All right. So now what I want to do then is how do we solve this now for that one? Well, basically we could do here, copy this, put it here, save this, refresh, put it here. There we are. So you can see here now we have here 29 which will match you with this specific one here. And eventually later on, once we surpass that specific time, but we see here now this 18 seconds, so it will take a while, it will eventually jump to the other one. But it will be step by step. And that's basically how you can play around with it. Of course, we might need to eventually refactor this a little bit more to, uh, to avoid these infinite calculations, because this can become heavy in the long run. So you have to consider that one. What we could do here, just symbol, is for example this. If seconds equals zero, which would mean that we are resetting the seconds, at that moment we want to start doing this. Uh, if seconds equals zero, then we loop through this one. If I save this now, refresh, that will be fine. But there's only one problem with this. And then what is the problem here is basically this. At the first load, it doesn't load. So of course, there might be, we might uh, make a separate set interval for that, just only once to load that one. I wanna go too deep in that. If you understand how to do this, you probably are able to figure out how to do the other one as well. And that's basically it. 
So if you enjoyed this video, maybe you also will enjoy how to filter. So you have here, it's another one is on how to filter a chart between the dates in Chart.js, which is very close to what we're doing here is highlighting them, but then here having an add-on layer with uh, filtering the data in a chart.